name is Amit Malhotra with Biavi Solutions. This is actually the first year that we've been to Mobile World Congress as Biavi. Last year we were JDSU, <laughs> and we're really excited to be here. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about was uh, our integrated portfolio of solutions for testing, measuring, assuring, and optimizing all kinds of networks, from mobile to landline to cable, all the way to from, from uh, physical to virtual into the cloud. Uh, one of the things that we've been able to do is assemble all of the technologies required to do testing across uh, such diverse domains. And I wanted to give you one example with uh, a real world case of uh, Volti quality of experience. So voice is the most fundamental service provided by telecommunications providers. It's something that uh, users have very low tolerance for issues or failures, yet Volti is delivering that service over new networks and technologies. So it's essential for operators to be able to uh, both understand what the quality of experience is and then to be able to identify where in all of these layers that uh, issue might be occurring. So we actually have solutions that can uh, measure the quality of experience on a device. Uh, and so for example, right now you can tell that uh, the um, quality of experience or MOS score for uh, voice uh, over LTE, so this user is uh, quite high. It's uh, almost five out of five. So they're having a pretty good experience. But then if you move over to another user who suddenly is uh, experiencing some problems, and on the device you see that uh, they've got um, a much lower MOS score, uh, closer to uh, three, so that's uh, a drop of two points, and they're having a, a much uh, worse experience than the previous user. What uh, we can then do is help the operator figure out on the radio access network if there's any problems. Now that looks good. All the way to the core, and uh, uh, that looks pretty good as well. So when we uh, turn our attention to the ethernet layer, what we can see is that uh, one of the hops is not uh, configured correctly, and so that's causing the degradation of the uh, quality of experience. And so by fixing that, the user is now uh, experiencing a, a good quality of voice. And that's an example of how by integrating test and measurement across all layers of the network, uh, including from the device through the RAN, the core network, um, and the packet network, um, we're able to help the operators identify where um, issues might be occurring as quickly as possible. I'm now here with Kashif Hosan. What can you tell us about some of the challenges that service providers are having, given that these networks are so diverse, and how is Viavi offering solutions to help them? Basically, if you think about it, networks have evolved over the years, from a 2G, which was a much simpler network, to a 3G, going into 4G, where you not only have a more complex network, at the same time you offer a lot of services on top of it. And going into 5G, where you have DAS, microcell, Wi-Fi, everything working together, and that's basically what your hypergenous network is. At the same time, they offer a lot of challenges. Now you have to deploy your networks much faster and offer different type of services at the same time. So what you're looking at here, how do you drive that workforce efficiency so you can save on OPEX, you have a that better time to market, save on CapEx, and basically deploy these networks much faster in that sense, right? So we have multiple solutions that we offer, depending on the type of the network. So we have a DAS workflow solution for deploying a DAS network. We are, from a cell site uh, deployment perspective, we have offered a test wizard solution on our uh, cell advisor product. Uh, we have an RF over CP and RF over ops side. This basically eliminates the need to go and climb the tower when you're trying to do some maintenance. And our real-time network optimization tool, so it allows you to remotely, in some cases, actually process the data, analyze the data, and make recommendations to your engineers. And lastly, baseband emulation. 
this what it does, it actually emulates a baseband unit because the market is so fragmented when you try to install the network. So it, it happens in multiple phases. So with this uh, product or solution, basically what you can do, you can do the testing of the whole network in one go. Now you have solutions for a number of different challenges in the heterogeneous network, but as Viavi, what do you think are the most critical ones that network operators are facing? That's a very good question. I mean, the, the, the biggest problem that I see, the whole industry, uh, or whole, uh, I would say the network side is so fragmented, and these all of these challenges, I think they require a solution. I cannot prioritize. I actually <laughs> thought, thought very hard about that, which one is the, the most important one. But it really truly depends from an operator point of view, which team you are dealing with. You're talking to the operations team, then in their case, I mean, they will say RF over SIPRI because I'm trying to make sure my maintenance is done faster, quicker, and, and much more safer. Whereas if you are talking to a guy who's deploying DAS, a neutral host maybe, right. from their perspective, DAS workflow is the most important solution. From a contractor point of view, they might go for test wizards. Right. Point being, all these are truly very important problems in the network today that we are trying really hard to help our customers, whether they are NEMS, whether they are contractors, or actually service providers, to have an excellent solution for them so they can deploy their networks much faster, maintain them, and optimize them in a much faster and efficient way. Paul Goins, one of the big themes of the show for Viavi has been actionable insights. You've talked about yes. that a lot. Would you tell us how that applies when you're working with customers, how they how to use actionable insights to try to monetize their networks further? Right, so, so the, the data that we capture, um, if you think about it as kind of end-to-end, location-aware, app-aware, subscriber-centric information. And so you can use that information both kind of internally within the operator to help like customer experience, because it's always kind of multi-dimensional. You know, you're needing to understand who's doing what, where, with what device, what's the application, for how long, you know, and, and, uh, and look at that over a period of time. And you might want to look at kind of patterns of information in terms of kind of, you know, rather than just kind of real time, but what's the change over time. So you can use that internally and do it subscribers, you know, subscriber aware. But you can also take that data, aggregate it, anonymize it, and use it kind of, what I would say, kind of outside the firewall for other applications, and there's lots of you know, applications that our customers are looking at, you know, whether it's for helping like transportation systems, uh, helping kind of local authorities look at kind of pattern flow, looking at kind of billboard positioning. So you're using the same data, but you're kind of anonymizing and aggregating it, using it kind of outside the operator, kind of third party um, applications, and that allows the operator to then kind of look at new revenue streams and monetize the information. Mm -hmm.